and give somebody a chance at one, two, or three hundred dollars in cash. Make it caller number five seven three six zero one eight six. Caller number five right now seven three six zero one eight six. You can win from First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and the Hobika Law Firm seven three six zero one eight six. Caller five. Um, okay, I wanted to throw out a couple of uh, quick stories. You know, on this uh, transgen- on this transgender thing, Stacey Dash. You know, who she is. Yes. Um, who is she? She's she's an actress. She yeah. was in a very couple outspoken. Of- <clears throat> yeah. Um, as of late, I believe she is. Uh, I can't think of the name of the movie. It's a famous movie from the early '90s that she was starred in. Uh, but she is black and conservative, and so I think she gets. She has a solution. For transgender, the transgender bathroom issue. Oh, boy. She was, she was uh, it was clueless, right? Clueless, yes. Thank she you. She has a solution for the transgender bathroom issue. Listen to this. It's a tyranny by the minority. Why do I have to suffer? Because you can't decide what you want to be that day. But is it a decision? <laughs> I, I would think so. It's your body. Mm-hmm. So it's your decision, right? We all, have, we all make choices. I guess a lot of people in the transgender community would then say... It is who I am, and I don't choose to be one way or another. It's who I am. Okay, then go go to the bushes. I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> but... <laughs> Her solution is to go pee in the bushes. I'm not going to put my child's life at risk because you want to change a law so that you can be comfortable with your beliefs, which means I have to change my beliefs and my rights. No. All right, there you go. And, you know, this all really started with Bruce Jenner. Weren't we all shocked when the, the Bruce Jenner thing happened? And now it's just uh, it's like the way it is. It's been a year since Bruce Jenner officially uh, came out and did the uh, the Vanity Fair cover. So ironically. It's been one year. Really? I, yeah. I spoke with Seems somebody. like it's been a decade, doesn't it? I didn't. Actually, I didn't think it would, had been that long. It's been a year. I've spoken with members of the transgender community, one in particular who said, you know, one of the worst things that happened to the transgender community was Caitlyn Jenner. Because of the fact that it kind of marginalized the real problems that we experience yeah. and kind of Kardashian esked it. Yeah, like reality showed it. Right. Um, Caitlyn Jenner. Not even words. Recently, yeah, you guys are coining phrases what? left and like right this? here. Yeah. We're, just, we're just throwing stuff out there. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner talked recently about an interview about how Chris Kardashian uh, made rules around the house. Because Chris Kardashian knew about his desire to be a woman, and this is what he said. The rules kind of with Chris and I that, you know, don't dress up, certainly around the house. If you really feel the need to do that, when you're on the road, take stuff and do that. So I did that for years. I'd go on the road for speaking engagement. So she knew all this time that he was traveling and that when he traveled, he would uh, dress up. Well, wasn't he very open about it with his spouses through the years i mean that was one of the things that he said I was that i've told them you know that i don't just like wearing women's clothes i think i'm a woman and you know i think everybody along the way thought it's a phase yet they, yet it's, they still married him and they or they right. maybe found out after they married him i don't know you know what you, you say what you want about chris jenner right? you know some people say oh my god what she's done allowing her daughters to exploit whatever but think about what this woman has has really been through in her life I mean, she lost her best friend, and then she had to deal with all the OJ stuff. Then her husband passed away, and then she met Chris or um, you know Bruce, and never then realized married you're a Caitlyn Kardashian fan. There, I'm Andrew. not, okay. and that's the just, thing. It just, just had an that, epiphany. That is an interesting that, point, though, that yeah. he just made. I mean, I've had an epiphany. Yeah. I mean, I really detest um, that she's most been through, of them, but she, the mom, has been yeah. through a lot. Yeah, I love that, that when is Andrew a life. <laughs> That is a lot. Glad I got that off my chest. Next hour, Andrew, in the life of Hillary Clinton. Oh, uh, let's Clinton. not go there. Uh, yeah. So, was one of the other rules, though, that he had to use his own bathroom? Did they have a unisex bathroom? Uh, in the don't house? use my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> That's expensive. Good question. Uh, but my wife has that rule in the house. She prefers everyone else use another bathroom, <laughs> and she use hers. Dallas and, prefers uh, I use the bathroom out of the house. You know? <laughs> yeah. All right, on the line right now, uh, who is it? It's David and... Uh, David, David and Whitesboro. David and Whitesboro. David and Whitesboro, good morning. Good morning, Bill. All right, let's take a shot of this here, David. Let's see how much we're playing for. Oh, Bica's money. Here we go. $100. Another $100. Where's the three, Ben, and the two? Uh, it's another $100 here for you, David, for uh, an opportunity. You need to answer this question within seven seconds, and you get 100 bucks. Ready to go? 
Yes, sir. All right, here's your question. Farmer Lester Howe is famous for what? Ready? Go. Pig farming. What was that again? Pig farming. Pig farming is Lester Howe. Famous for pig farming. Famous for pig farming. No, no. Anybody else? This is else? a great question. He seemed pretty confident now, about it's that. It's kind of an easy one, I think. Well, now it We've been now told clicks, the story right? every time we've been there. Yes. Lester Howe in 1842 went out to get his cows. Are we close, David? Are you with me? Yes, I am. He went out to get his cows, and all of a sudden he felt cool air coming out of the ground, and he pushed the bushes back, and he, he found this... It seemed like a cavern, and he and he explored, and he went inside, and in 1842 he discovered how cavern, how caverns, yeah, Lester oh, Howe. Yeah, and you don't want to oh, know what my answer. Is. No, I was there when I was a little kid. <laughs> right, it's been a long time. So, all right, well, listen, uh, David, sit tight. Uh, Andrew's going to hook you up, but here is uh, here here are some choices for you. Uh, we have dinner for two. We also have tickets for wine in the wilderness this weekend. And additionally, we have tickets for this big uh, beer fest that is coming up uh, over at the FX Matt Brewery, which will be one week from this Saturday. And there are over 50 breweries that are going to be there in one location Saturday, June 11th at the FX Matt Brewery. So get your choice on any of those events, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, sit tight. Andrew is going to hook you up. Great question, Bill. You like it that? Really Lester Howe. was, yeah. Lester Howe. Yeah, I, I, and, 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 and think about it. How many times have you been to How Caverns? I've been, you know, have I've you ever never been? been? You've never been? No. The hell? Oh, you you have didn't even go during go. school? No. I I know so many people who went on a school, you know, a, a field trip. I thought everybody went on the field trip to, to How Caverns. I've never been. I might I have been a, sick or something. I was a chaperone on a field trip to How Caverns. I lived in New York City and traveled up to How Caverns. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of people that travel a long distance to go there. And now they've added new things they have like a zip line type uh, extreme ride, and they've got rock climbing, and they've added a whole bunch of new stuff in addition to just the trip into the uh, into the cavern. You know what? Uh, here's another little piece of information, if I'm correct, and I I think I am. And Christine, maybe look this up. I believe it's um, 52 degrees constantly inside the caverns year round. That's that is very interesting. Yeah. I will tell you this though. You're going to go because you now have an up and coming oh, yeah. kid and and you know, you whether it's a school trip or you're just going to take him and, and it's a nice little thing on a day where it's raining out, you can go on and, and you're, it doesn't matter if it's raining or if there's you know you want you're looking for something to do, it's it's close. Head out there to Howe Caverns. I uh, we've done it several times. Lester Howe is the uh, the guy that discovered how caverns. I love the fact that the answer was in the question and none of us got it. Yeah, I'm surprised. Normally, I thought that would be a $100 giveaway instantly. Here's Christine with an update, 745. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, labor unions and environmental groups from central New York at the state capitol rallying for stronger clean energy standards. The city of Utica submitting its application to the Mohawk Valley Regional Economic Development Council for its portion of $10 million in downtown neighborhood funding and ride sharing service proponents fighting to get Uber and Lyft in upstate s- cities before the end of this legislative session. Could be a rainy day. We'll get a little sun to start, but then uh, showers and afternoon thunderstorms today with a high near 80 degrees. Tomorrow, 82 with sun and clouds, 83 sun and clouds on Saturday, and maybe rain on Sunday with a high in the mid-70s. Currently, it is 66 degrees. Now, I'm going to come back with something that I think is serious and important, and it's during Memorial Day week. Uh, We just celebrated, uh, we never should say celebrated, we just honored uh, and recognized those on Memorial Day. But this is something that I think is really important. Um, There is, uh, this is Shannon Walker. There was a documentary that debuted last weekend. And there is now a complete link between war war veterans, PTSD, and suicide. Now you say, well, yeah, but no. I mean, uh, medically, people have not linked it. We've surmised, but now they say there's proof. And the documentary is out. We'll talk about that documentary coming right up when we come back. Very important topic, especially with these guys and women that are doing two and three and, and even more tours of duty over into the Middle East. Coming right back. Two minutes away at WIBX.